Hi, Kate. It is Hi, an honor. It is an honor to stand here as an express man. I'm here to tell you about Dan. He's a smart, brave, handsome. Sorry, Nick, I can't read your writing. No! Nick and I have been friends since we first met in middle school. Our friendship grew through high school, and launches every day at Tammy's, to deciding to attend a room together at Southern Illinois University of Carbondale. In college, we were inseparable. We faced many things together. Anything from road trips on weekends, hiking after classes, and rushing in fraternity, and so much more. Nick has always been an avid jogger. Sometimes, he would convince me to go with him. So I always like to tell Nick, a 12-minute mile is just as far as a 6-minute mile. <laughs> <laughs> on this occasion, Nick went jogging on his own, miles away from our home. This time, his run ended abruptly, with a bad ankle injury. Nick thought of me right away. However, his phone had died. He managed to limp over to the golden crowd and call his mother. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this day and age, none of us have phone numbers memorized. <laughs> Nick asked Sarah to Facebook message me to rush and get him. First, I was glad my buddy ended up being okay. Second, I'm glad he thought of me first. Third, I'm mad I wasn't with him as many <laughs> as my 12 minute mile would have beaten his 6 minute mile. <laughs> Close friends are hard to come by, but with Nick, I know I have just that. I don't know where I'd be today without him. And I know Nick feels the same way. I'm beyond happy for Nick and Brooke. I've known Brooke since middle school and consider her a very good friend. From having classes together in high school, Embarking on Nick and I's famous weekend road trips. Brooke has always been a part of the group. There is nobody I trust more with my best friend. At this time, please raise your glass as I toast a heartfelt congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Nick Poe. Yeah.